and we back today our goal is to rebuild the milwaukee bucks because well they lost in the first round which is not something they anticipated so i'm here to help them out and i'm on the team <laughs> No, uh, this is not a uh, Luke, uh, a Luke written out jersey. This is uh, yours truly. I went to a Bucks game in February, and they treated me with some great hospitality and gave me my own jersey. So, I I feel like if the team gives you a jersey, that means you're on the roster. And I might have been able to check in and get them six good fouls, <laughs> get them re six real good fouls. Am I? Come on, man. Stop, mess, stop messing with me. This might be sacrilege because I'm a Bulls fan to be wearing the, the Division Rivals jersey. It's for content, baby. It's for content. All right. So, y'all know how this goes. We lost to the Pacers. Um, and uh, the finals is going to be OKC versus the Knicks. All right. And the Knicks sweep them. Whoa, New York. They screaming F Trey Young right now. That's just <laughs> this is what they do. All right, so this team is very interesting, right? Because they're the, I think they're technically the oldest team in basketball. I think one of the things they need to do this offseason is to get younger. I do want to say this is not going to be a hyper realistic thing because I don't even really know what, <laughs> what like how they could get younger and faster and more athletic. Obviously, having Giannis healthy would help with that. But like Chris Middleton was so good in the postseason, it would feel weird to move him after that postseason. Um, Bobby Portis was also very good in the postseason. Brooke Lopez is just old. He's just old, old, old. Um, Nick Wright don't even look nothing like this no more, by the way. <laughs> he has evolved. Um, Pat Bev is gone. Malik Beasley's gone. Jay Crowd is gone. Uh, we do have about $9 million in Pat Connaughton to potentially move. I, I like, um, uh, Dre. What do they, they call him? Ajax? I think they call him Ajax. I like AJ Green. But I don't like them enough to say that they completely safe. Because I don't know what Jackson's going to look like with player progression. One thing we know about that man is he can defend his butt off. Um, and he's athletic. So he fits some of the things we want. But him being a negative three-point shooter uh, definitely makes it a little bit tough. I don't think we have a single draft pick this year, though. Uh, we have a second rounder. And then in 2026, we have a swap. And then in 2028, we have a swap. That's all of our draft picks. Oh, man. Okay. Well, let's go to the second round. and go. We're going to draft a stud. Watch. I don't know who, you know, we got to watch the draft because that's the fun part. Sargos one, Richard Sargos two. Uh-huh. We have a trade to announce. Adam Silver is announcing Derrick Rose in the fourth pick for Alperin Shingun. This is, by the way, the fourth straight video we've done where Alperin and Shingun got traded during the draft for guard, I guess. All right. Other trades have to happen, right? Another trade. Come on. Here it is. We have a trade to announce. It's number ninth overall pick for John Collins. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's enough. We're going to get to the end of the lottery. We have a trade to announce. 13th and one more for Draymond and Chris Paul. This exact trade happened in the last video, too. And Dominic Klingon. Wow. We have a trade to announce. 14th overall pick for two first. All right, that's enough. Let's go to our second rounder and say, um, hmm. Who is our stud? Ju Justin Edwards can be that guy. Got some defense. Can't shoot it to save his life. Maybe, so maybe he's not that guy. We can go get... Bronny, because that means we can sign LeBron on a minimum, or we can use it as a trade piece. Let's see what's across the association, right? Um, who are some guys that could help us fill some roles that um could be on teams that could like what is this? I, oh, I guess they could just run Jaron at the four. Actually, the team looks kind of nice now. Again, it don't make sense for the Rockets, but I'm kind of rocking with it for the Grizz. I cannot lie. Good, good deal, good deal for them. Like, could we do? Ew. <laughs> this would be no because i think dejounte needs to be a lead guard so never mind yeah i'm not seeing the trade i'm not seeing it at all uh, which is unfortunate man like i would love to get jared allen right i mean he changes the space in for sure but we don't have the assets to go get jared allen like he's he's not they're not going to give him to us a lot of these teams are not just making trades to make trades we're going to use the second round pick on somebody only thing we have is like a partial mid-level um this team is bad wow 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 we get no 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 forget all of that we just signed somebody and hope it works no we need to go make real trades bro this team needs our help help asap like could we snag terrence man if paul george goes to a different team could we like deandre hunter doesn't answer any question i'm just looking for teams that might have people that are on the move like Oh, man. Bogey Bogdanovich don't make us much younger. He's an old dude at 31 years old. And then he almost ended up on the Bucks. Am I remembering that right? I feel like he almost ended up on the Bucks 
once upon a time. We have to see what LeBron ends up doing. He's going back to the Lakers. Dang. Yeah, I was going to say if they lose Bron, then maybe we snag somebody else on their team because they wouldn't be really competitive anymore. But look at the team, bro. Like, I got to figure it out. I have to figure it out. Paul George went to the Pistons. He took his bag and dipped out. Uh, That's fun. The Clippers get OG Ananobi. They just, ne the, the Knicks never resign that man. They just never do. Tobias went to the Pistons too. So they get Tobias Harris and Paul George in free agency. Okay. The Jazz end up with Miles Bridges and DeMar DeRozan. Okay. Buddy Hill goes back to the Kings. Drummond goes to the Thunder. Fontecchio goes to the Hornets. That's a player I would actually really like to have on this team. I can't lie. The Spurs get a vet. Yeah, we ended up with Derrick Jones Jr., Luke Cornette, <laughs> Gary Harris. We This video will not end until we win the championship, by the way. So, I know we're struggling right now, but... Dame, Brooke... I know we're struggling right now, but we will make it happen. I promise. I promise. Okay. All right. I feel like we have to feel, we have to be comfortable with trading Chris Middleton. Like we like Chris a lot. Do not get me wrong, but we have to get comfortable with the idea of trading him. It says, I am pleased at how things are handled. What, what's your idea about free agency right now? What are you thinking about free agency? You are saying what? My agent is pushing me to test free, the free agency market this summer. I'm unsure with the idea though. Uh, Burke Lopez, I'm accomplished. All I can, I can accomplish in this league is time to move on. Brooke is saying he is retiring after the season. And best believe we are not giving him a goddamn farewell tour. You are getting traded. We are not losing you in the free age. I mean, to uh, retire. My God, we just not. Uh, the star lineup looks like this. It's not very good. Um, sheesh. Marjan Bochamp is going to have to play some two this season, which he's very capable of. Oh, his overall drops. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. How many fans to kind of trust me right now? We will get there. We will 100% get there. We have to just wait until the outline of the, the NBA is just a little bit better. We have to see what teams are good and what teams are bad. Chris Middleton, I'm going to put you on the block alongside. Oh, I have some people that I thought about trading for. Oh, I'll take them off the list right now. I don't even want, want you to see those names. So Chris Middleton, um, Brooke Lopez, Pat Connaughton. Those are the three tradable pieces. And I'm assuming at least two of the three of those people will get traded. I'm going to go to beginning of February. And let's hope that we stay towards the top of the East so we don't have to play a game of, of catch up. 10 games over right now. You take that. You know, you, you take 10 games over, especially right now. Uh, 25 and 12 for Giannis. 32. Oh, my God. Dame is back. Oh, my God. Dame is back. 32. 18 for Chris Middleton. He might also be back. Oh, my God. Bobby Portis is good. Brooke Lopez is ready to really ride into that sunset. What the heck is this, Brookie Brook? Uh, Marjan Bochamp is looking good. 40% three-point shooter. Derrick Jones Jr. is good. Luke Cornett, not as good. But 70% from the field? Is that right for Luke Cornett this season? No. No, that doesn't make any sense, does it? Luke Cornett was not one for one from three in the regular season, was he? Am I tripping? He was. Wait. Luke Cornette only attempted one three this year? Whoa, bro. As somebody that watched Luke Cornette in New York and then watched him in Chicago, it blows my mind that this man really only attempted one three-pointer this year. Huh. The more you know, the more you know. That is actually like, that is like mind-blowing information to me. All right. Oh, oh my God. DeLon Wright. Holy, you shooting like me. You were shooting like me. All right, let's see what's going on across the association because we got some trade pieces. The Bulls are rebuilding. Do they have anything? No, we're not paying Zach Levine, even though he's having a really, really good season. We don't have the money to match, but I'll add him to the list. Vucevic is better. He's better than Brooke at this moment in time, but not as not good enough for me to want that. Lonzo Ball is back healthy, and he's not bad, so I'll, I'll look at that. Um, selling. Drew Holiday is here now. Wow. Boston traded Drew Holiday. For who, though? For James Harden. And now they're the 12th seed. That's... Uh, that's something. Um, it does say Drew Holiday and Victor Wimbledon are their top targets. Like they did not just trade Drew Holiday. All right. Uh, this universe is interesting. We got OJ Anobi who's making $20 million. Add him to the list, I guess. I, I mean, I just, I guess. Bam, Tyler Hero, Terry Rozier, and two others are able to be traded for. They're on a trade block. What is Bam's contract? It's like 35? Yeah, 30, about 35 million. We, we don't got that to make up. Bobby Portis is on the target list for the Hornets. Huh. 
y'all don't have anything that we want, but I would be interested to send them your way. Nothing here, but they're rebuilding. Um, Larry Markin is a six man now. Add him to the list. What the heck? Larry's probably pissed off. A six man, me? I am satisfied with everything that's been happening, but his morale is not great. I signed a new contract. Oh, so he did sign a new contract. And he's averaging 22 off the bench. So that's our six man of the year, no? That's our, yeah, that's probably our six man of the year. Um, like they can't just play all of these guys together. I know DeMar is transitioning away from a guard, but he's only 6'6". Six, six. That's not my problem, though. It's not my problem. Selling Lakers team. Um, they want J-Dub. They want Donovan Mitchell with Jimmy Butler. Anthony Davis is currently injured, cut on his head, but he's playing through it, whatever, whatever. Mikael Bridges, is just that he just doesn't shoot the ball well in game. He just never does. Not a guy I'm really interested in because of that. Everybody's just got, got Wimbanyama on their target list. Like, it's a world where they can get him. Spoiler, you can't. He's not even untouchable on his team. So, actually, maybe you can. Um, They're selling. They're actively selling. Trey Jones doesn't change anything for us. Keldon was already on my list. He's turned himself to a 30% three-point shooter. We don't want that. Uh, Devin Vassell is really nice. They're not trading him away. Hey, man, I got to make something happen, though. The team is not good enough. I think we can all agree there. Jeremy Grant is on the market. He is injured right now. But it's day-to-day, -day, so he can be back 50% from the field, 35% from three. I'm not mad at that. His volume just must be low then. He's probably just not attempting any shot because that's good efficiency. I'll add him to the list. He's injured. We'll just have to simulate a few days probably. Yeah, Draymond and them are gone already. Steph Curry's just playing with a, a bunch of younger dudes over here. So nothing. Kuzma's a possibility, I guess. Sim Kuz is actually good this year. Add him to the list. You know, you never know with Sim Kuz, man. You never really know with him. But right now, it looks like he's, he's playing ball well. He's playing well. But I think my main priority here, Larry Market has signed his extension, so it doesn't even make sense for it to be him. But if they're, if they're selling, then maybe. I'm going to simulate a few days in the future just for the Jeremy Grant piece so his injury can be done. Again, we don't know if Jeremy Grant's the guy. His contract's kind of big. I think it's $29 million. Um, And that's a lot of money. But he does add some of the stuff. Now, he's only slightly younger. Jeremy Grant's like 30 years old now. So it's, it's not like he's a 26-year-old we traded for. But he is slightly younger than our core right now. So he fits that. He's under contract for multiple seasons. So he has that. Um, what just happened to my target list? Where did everybody just go on my target list? Did they all just get traded? No, right? That doesn't make sense. No. Why did they just all get eliminated from my target list? Okay, 2K. All right. Lonzo's up to... 41% from three. And we know what his defense is. The problem... Oh, he signed an extension too. All right. And he's relatively, relatively cheap. Lonzo, Lonzo's the second guy we're going to try to get other than... We're going to start with Larry Marketing, right? 18 million. In order to make that happen, it's 100% Brook Lopez. Um, They're going to say no to this as they should because Larry Marketing is really good. We'd have to probably give them one of our younger players. It could be this guy that we drafted. He's only one and a half star value. Never mind. We could say, hey, here's a Pelicans pick. It would probably cost us all three of these first that we have. And then that would leave us with basically one second round pick, Pat Connaughton, and DeLon Wright to trade to get a new center in town, which is probably not enough. Larry Market is kind of perfect here, though. I'm going to get, I'm going to offer the, con I'm going to offer it. Oh, I only took two first. Larry Market, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, Larry Marketing is going to move to the... Th yes, yes, this is what we needed. Chris Middleton's um, overall does not drop by a lot, only by one. So you'll take that. He's back to a two, which is something he played early in his career. And right now is Luke Cornett at the five. We don't love that. So we do have to trade Pat Connaughton. So we got to go through again all the selling rebuilding teams. And now we're looking for a cheap center. Um, Vucevic is a little bit too expensive. We're looking for somebody that's making around... I, I guess 15-ish million. 15-ish million is what we can afford. Ali Beal is on the Hawks right now. They were able to move that contract. What the heck? Uh, Nick Richards is a possibility. Do you want a Nick Richards as your starting center on a championship team? I don't know. They just have too many centers here. Wow, Wendell Carter's really playable. They have three centers. They got Mo here, who's having a good year, but doesn't play a lot. They got Jalen Duran here as their starter. Wendell Carter's a possibility. Oh, Patrick Williams and Wendell Carter are back together. How cool is that? That's fun for some somebody. It's not, for somebody, that's fun. Jock Lindell is a possibility. You know, just just cheap centers. Cheap centers. Ooh. Ooh. Kelly Olenek. Kelly Olenek is actually like prime time player for us. So we have four centers. I'm going to try out the window card first because he is shooting 
um, a decent percentage from three. I think I saw 45%. Was that the right number? Yeah, 30, not 45. She's around 35%. We round up for you to make it a nice number, um, which is playable for us. Doesn't rebound the ball great, but we have Giannis. Kelly Olenek is shooting 37% from three. 10 points per game, five rebounds. He's going to be cheaper. I'm going to try to get the window card one. We only have one, one tradable first round for first round pick. So that might not be enough because the, the asset that we're attached to it or the player that we're attached to it is not an asset, but it's 11 million. He's three star value. So this is probably just not going to happen. It's going to be Pat Connaughton's one star value. It's our own first round pick trade exception. They want Bobby Portis to give us Cole Anthony. It's not something we can agree to. Unfortunately, we do have this extra second, not something we can agree to. Dang. And then I don't want to give you Andre Jackson. I can't get there. Marjan Botep, I can't get there. Ah, uh, man. Okay. This is an interesting time. Wendell, did you sign an extension just yet? No. Free agent after next year. I can't give up both of those young guys. In case we don't win a championship this year, those dudes are going to progress pretty well. So we can go talk to the Raptors and say, hey, man, you not Gary Trent. You got uh, Kelly Olenek here. It, this should be enough. Trade exception, boom. Kelly Olenek, welcome to <sighs> welcome to Milwaukee, okay? Um, Gary Harris should be playing because he's not bad right now. We need just more shooting guard minutes. How are we feeling? Um, uh, I don't know is the answer to that. I don't know how we're feeling. It's better than the current team, for sure. Larry Markin is here. Um, we got shooting. We, got a f we can run five out with Giannis full time again. I see. First, first game after the trades is a win against Bradley Beal and Obi Toppin, Buddy Heal. They made a lot of changes to this roster in one year, bro. And Larry Margaret's first game, he took this the more shots to Giannis. Let's not get used to doing that. But it's cool to see your confidence, Lowry. I swear it's cool to see your confidence. The good thing is Lowry's under contract for multiple years. So if we don't win this year, it sucks because Dame is going to continue to regress. But at least Larry Market is under contract for the foreseeable future. Yoke wins another MVP. That's number five? Number four, number four, number four, number four, number four. Sar, Thompson, Wimbenyama, Thompson. Wow. Six man of the year and most improved player. All right. Shout out to that draft class. Man, they just went crazy. Okay. It's a it's a winnable championship year, man. Giannis is second team. Again, really good season. Uh, Dame, no love for Damian Lillard. At one point, he was our leading scorer. So that's frustrating. We almost traded for Lonzo, who's all, all defensive first team. I don't know how Dame doesn't make an all NBA team unless his numbers dropped off a cliff 29 on 52 43 95 and were we a top seed we were the three seed hello all right they hate they hating Dame you know you, you, the voters just be hating that's fine you get snubbed sometimes here's here's Bradley Beal's Atlanta Hawks um, they, they were able to turn it around enough to make the play in at least and to get into the playoffs. Can they beat uh, us in a, in a seven? I, I highly doubt they can. And I would be c correct, hopefully. Yes. Yeah. All right. New York Knicks. Next. I want this. I want to see the Pacers. I want the re I want the revenge after what y'all did when Giannis wasn't here. The Knicks aren't the same team, by the way. Like Isaiah Hardenstein is gone. Julius Randle was back. Where's Josh Hart? I don't know. Matisse Thibel is starting. I, I like that. We leave Matisse Thibel open all series long. Is Josh Hart not on the team? They got Bobo. Josh Hart is on the team, but Matisse Thibel starting over him. Oh, because they got him as a power forward full time. So he can't start. He also just had a ridiculous game against us too. <laughs> cool. Fine. Yeah, Tom Thibodeau, thank you for starting Matisse Thibel over him. Uh, oh, hold on. Jalen Brunson's doing Jalen Brunson stuff. Um... Yes, Jalen Brunson's doing He's a 94. Shout out to Jalen Brunson, man. Game five is huge. We win that. Game six is huge. We get to the conference finals. And guess who we see? We get... Okay, I guess you got reinforcements too because Ben Matherin is back. But we have Giannis. Mr. Antetokounmpo. The Greek freak. Here we go. This should be a four-game series. That's how much we on their throat. Dang, it's not a four-game series. <laughs> ben Matherin, huge game. Um... Luke Cornette is back from his injury. Didn't even know you were in injured, Luke. And we're going to go to the finals. Go against the Suns. Whoa, they traded Bradley Beal and immediately made it to the finals with DeJounte Murray and Julian Champagne as their three-man. <laughs> okay. All right. That's actually impressive as heck, man. One trade, one big trade. Game number one is a win for the Bucks. 
Oh, this is... Was this the another really easy one? This is another really easy one? 3-0. I'm sorry, Suns fans. You had to go through another playoff where you get to the finals and lose. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to go through that, man. Like, y'all deserve better. You just do. Well, that was as about as easy as can be, huh? It's about as easy as can be. Trade for, for Larry Marketing, which, again, is very, 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 very unlikely. But, boy, is he, was he amazing. Chris is going to be a free... No, he's got a player option. Why not? I want to go one more year just to see what the progress is like for Dame and them after another year. We don't have any picks. I don't even know why I went to the lottery. I'm not going to the draft. We're going straight to free agency. And let's see if we can make this team better. Let's go. Let's just go one more quick season. And decline, declined. Okay, so two of our players might... Bobby, Bobby Portis and Chris Middleton said, forget that. We want to get paid. And Chris is asking for 30. 30? I can't do you're 33 here take a two-year contract dude Bobby take a two-year contract dude why am I, why do I care that much I don't know I felt insulted you're gonna come to the table and say you want 30 plus million dollars uh, you might have been phenomenal in the playoffs actually you might have deserved that money I'm not giving it to you though all right we ended up signing uh Mo Wagner Dame drops by two Chris Middleton drops by three Bobby is still getting better Derrick Jones Jr is still getting better Marjan Botep still getting better yeah, we're not winning the championship this year round. No way. But look, Ajax has a bunch of badges now. And uh, he might be playable finally. Like, real, real life playable, you know? So that's kind of fun. This team is not repeating. But I felt like we won it so fast with just a few trades that I, I think they deserve the opportunity to run it back. Even though Dame and Chris Middleton are both... Let's just say not the versions of them that we're used to. Yeah, Mo Wagner is now starting over Kelly O'Linick. Which I'm not mad at. I mean... They're kind of similar players in a way. But Mo's three-point shot is not nearly as good as Kelly Olenek, I guess. Um, I really want Ijax to play a little bit. He's, his secondary position is point guard. What happens if I make him a point guard? I didn't realize his secondary position was that. Oh, he goes down a lot. He, he's better as a center as he in a point guard. So, <laughs> that's kind of a damn mission. But that's kind of cool to have his backup position be a PG. All right, let's just sim. Let's just sim. I have an extra first-round pick to trade, too, now that we got another season under our belt. Giannis attempted 10 threes. How about we not do that again, Giannis? Let's 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 recognize who we are as people and say the three-point shot 10 times in a game is not it. We're only 10 games over at the deadline or the around the deadline. The Bulls are great. Oh my god, what did y'all do? Nothing. You're actually dealing with multiple really big injuries. <laughs> hey, Patrick Williams is back. All right. He went to Orlando and came back and became worse again. How are y'all the one seed? I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know we have to trade. Like I I'm, I don't even know I'm still here. Um, I really don't have anything to trade. So, um, I guess we go on trade finder and say, Hey, these younger guys can't play on our team. So let's just send them somewhere else and get somebody that can play. Marvin Bagley wouldn't be able to play on my team. I refuse that. All right. Marcus Sasser, Kenya Martin Jr. Do we even, are those even positions of need? Um, Sasser, I need to look at your stats. Oh, you're great. <laughs> Kenya Martin Jr. You were decent in the minutes you were given, but you don't really get to play anymore. All right, there we go. We traded some young dudes. We like those young dudes a lot, but we get we sent them to a place where all the young dudes play. So that's fun. It's just, who we put up 90 points. All right, we're not winning a champ championship back-to-back. -back. But hey, we got one for Dave, another for Giannis. That sounds like a dub. Second half was better than the first half. I'll say that. We're not going to win any awards. Giannis, come on, where you at? All-NBA first team, okay. All right, Milwaukee, Milwaukee, Milwaukee. Giannis all defensive team. Giannis is back, baby. I mean, he didn't go anywhere. He's been great this whole time. Um, only 24 points per game, but that's because Lowry, 15. All right, we'll take that, I guess. Dame, 20. Where's all our points being scored? It was everybody just average of double digits? Marcus Sasser's to 11. I guess we're just a team that swings the ball a lot. Let's t let's not do that. Let's give the ball to our best player in Giannis and everybody move out the way so he can cook. That's kind of the way I like to run my teams if I have a generational talent, but that's just me. No Donovan Mitchell. Where's Donovan Mitchell? What the heck? He's in Washington, D.C.? Did D.C. make the playoffs? Probably not, right? No, they didn't. They didn't make the play-in. What the heck? All right, Cleveland without him probably sucks. Um, we get out of there in six. It wasn't pretty, but we got it. Knicks are back. They have Grayson Allen. Sorry. They have Nas Reed. All right. No Mitch Robin. That was Nas Reed. We lose game one. They still have Josh Hart. The answer is yes. Yes, yes they do. Still a really good team, all things considered. Um, Dante DiVincenzo let them in scoring. Deere Jones Jr. is out for the rest of the season. It's not ideal, but we have a lot of wings on the team, so we can kind of fill those shoes. Game number two is a win. Game number three is a win. 
Game number four is not. Game number five is not. And we force a game seven. And y'all know if it's going to be a game seven, I'm going to treat it like a game seven. Six-man rotation. They not running the six-man. In real life, you know, Tom Thibodeau on the game seven is running a five-man rotation. The only time you're going to get somebody to check out is if they foul out. And we're going to blow them out. Easy. I'm predicting this was a Larry marketing game. This is a Larry marketing game. We put up 146. It was everybody's game. Giannis with a triple-double. He ended up fouling out. Whatever. Wagner with a double-double. Chris Middleton had, couldn't shoot the ball, but contributed. And then Dame with his 47 up top is phenomenal. Conference finals, ooh, three years in a row seeing them in the playoffs is kind of cool. And my battery's going to die, but we're going to get through this video before that. We're going to get through this video before that. Uh, we'll uh, go to a longer rotation again because it's not great for the health of our players to have them play every single minute, even though we know they're capable of it. We know they're capable. We know they're capable, but we're not going to get there. Marcus Sasser got a cut on his head. Let's go back to short and rotation of seven now. Seven-man rotation. And Marcus Sasser's back. Let's go to a short and rotation of six again. Yeah, we do that. The Pacers, they're going to try to get their revenge after we got our revenge. OKC's waiting for one of us in the finals. Will it be us again? If we go back-to-back, -back, I don't know what to tell you. That's going to be really the end of it because I can't even imagine what Dame's overall is going to be. Whew. I refuse to even look at that. But we got one of the best players in the world on our team. So is Shea versus Giannis as the 98s. They have a 93 and 83. Um, they have a 93 and 89. It shouldn't look like we stack up well, but I trust us. Game one is a win for the Bucks. Yeah, Larry Market with a double-double. Game two is a loss. Game three, yes, get the Bucks win. 2-2 two -two series. 3-2 them. You know what that means. We were running six-man rotations. No. <laughs> uh, um, is it Bobby? It's Bobby. Yeah, we got to start Bobby here. Um, Five-man rotation. Dang, we still lost. All right, that was fine. That's fine. Hey, man, if you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. We did give them, get them one, and one is better than zero. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all tomorrow.